Hi everyone, I would like to share with you something that I've been making over the past week for the Make Connected Homes Internet of Things contest. So this is a nutritional monitor for the elderly. It calculates a malnutrition score based off of the person's body mass index and daily food intake. The score is then uploaded to a remote dashboard where a guardian can view it and also be alerted if the score exceeds a certain threshold. The daily food intake is measured in an unobtrusive way by automatically detecting the weight of the food on these modules. The weight is then sent to an application which then sends the data to the internet. More than 10% of the general elderly population are at medium or high risk of malnutrition, and most malnutrition expenditure occurs in the hospital. Detecting it is tricky because of its gradual onset. Rather than waiting three to six months for a doctor appointment, or once the effects arise, we need an early warning system for this, which can alert a guardian who can then immediately assist in the matter. Now let me demonstrate to you how it all works. The setup of the nutritional monitor consists of individual modules for each separate piece of food that will be consumed by the person. There is also a remote nutritional monitor dashboard which can be accessed by anyone in the world to view the data from the monitor. On each module are force sensing resistors. Those are the silver things here. That is what is able to detect the weight of the food that is on the module. There are also these front panels which give a status indication as well as a reset button. Now let me set up the application. Now that the application has been started, the first thing that we have to do is initialize the weights of each module. So it has to be initialized for an empty weight and a weight when the food is on the sensor. So first let's do the empty weight. By pressing the button, it saves the value, and the status LED blinks quickly to let you know that it has recorded the value. Now we can place the food onto the sensors and record the full weight. Once the full weight has been recorded, it enters into the monitoring state where you can realize this by the status LED being on. Now it's time to eat some food, of course, so we'll replace, we'll take this food and eat it first. So once we take the food off of the sensor or the module, then we press the button to let it know that we have removed the food. Now it begins blinking to show us that we have to replace the food. So we'll replace the food and press the button again to let it know that it has been replaced. So in this example, we drank some of this liquid to from this full amount to that amount. Next we can do the same for module 2, so remove the food, eat some of it, well, uh, we'll technically not eat the wire, and replace it.
here you can see when we replace the green liquid with the pink liquid for module 1 that the value decreased because we did indeed drink uh, that much of a difference of the food, so it affected the weight. When there's enough data collected from eating the various foods, then it's able to calculate the malnutrition score. So for the malnutrition score, it takes the weight and height that is input into the application beforehand for the person to calculate the body mass index. It combines this score with the daily nutrition score that is calculated to formulate a number from 0 to 2. 2 being bad, meaning someone would have to make sure that you are eating enough because you may be malnourished, and 0 being okay because you are eating enough. So when we first started this demonstration, the our score went from 0, because it was off, to 2, probably because we were taking some time in replacing the foods and whatnot. And now it has dropped down from 2 to 1.85, because we were indeed eating the food. The A lot of the base value depends on the initial uh, body mass index, so uh, for this application's example, it was a uh, slightly at-risk BMI that was inputted beforehand, so that raises the uh, score so that it's a bit easier to trigger the threshold. For the threshold, whenever the malnutrition score exceeds it, then you will receive an alert. Uh, the Guardian will receive an alert. So, for example, here, we can see that I received this alert right here, and it's showing me that I should probably look at the remote dashboard to see what exactly is happening. So that is the remote nutritional monitor demonstration. Some future modifications that I would like to make to the nutrition monitor would be, first of all, improved force sensors so that it can detect the weight a bit better and more reliably so that way we don't have to press the button whenever we have to take off the food and then replace it. When I was originally developing this, it could sort of sometimes work automatically, but there would always be a, a, a bit of an erroneous time when the data would not make sense and accidentally trigger it. I'd assume it would be because of the conductive foam. Sometimes it takes a long time for it to decompress, which changes its resistance value. The next improvement that I would like to make would be to remove the application on the computer that is used to send the data from the monitor to the internet. This could be easily replaced with a Wi-Fi module that attaches to the Arduino microcontroller to upload the data. The next improvement that I would like to make would be some sort of futuristic mat where you don't need individual modules, like say this one looks like as if it's for cereal or cookies, this one looks like it's for a drink, and this one looks like it's for a fruit bowl. 
well, maybe in the future it could be like a tabletop mat and then it can detect the different shapes that you put onto it and their weight. And so you could have them all in different configurations and just like you would in a real fridge, it would be less confusing to the person operating it, which would be very cool and have it all done automatically. Another improvement that I would like to make would be a better algorithm for calculating the malnutrition estimate score. So right now, with the body mass index sort of raising the initial value, it sort of skews what you're trying to actually look for, and sometimes you have to rely upon the uh, food level decreasing to see what is really happening. So to conclude, the nutritional monitor is a step in the direction of using sensors all connected within our homes to learn and observe more behaviors about ourselves. In this example, it can take a problem that would occur in many months and see what be alerted of a potential problem in only a few days. If you want to make your own, you can view the Instructable and download the source code. The links are in the description. Thanks for watching!